Hi everyone, welcome to the accumulation data analysis for 31st of July. So we'll look at what exactly happened today and what the data is telling us. So the FII is right. So they have been kind of selling in the cash market. So if you look at even 30th, right? So they sold almost close to 5,500 crores. But the good thing is the DIS bought an equal number that is almost 5,500 crores of equity cash buying was there from the DIS, which kind of kept the market stable. So that was the reason you were seeing huge drops that were coming in, right? So day before and even uh, yesterday, you were seeing that all of a sudden the Nifty drops like 100 points. So that was because of this huge buying that was coming. That hasn't happened today, right? So if you look at uh, today's action, no such big moves were there. So chances are no big buy uh, sell number should be there from the FIS. But the overall trend, if you look at it, right, they have been kind of selling it in the cash market but if you look at the fno market especially in the futures they have not been really adding short positions so not really show sure what exactly they are doing maybe being a little cautious before going into the fed event wherein they are kind of uh, liquidating their cash positions whereas in the fno they are still pretty decent right they are not adding fresh shots so this is about the fidi activity now let's look at the global indices that is the us market yeah, so the US markets, right, after this big fall that we saw, right, where it kind of touched this breakout level, maybe a little lower, that is this first breakout that had happened here, that level it kind of touched and from there it kind of reversed, right. And now it is more of a neutral candle that we formed here, probably even they are waiting for the Fed this thing to be done with, right. In case the Fed this thing is not really uh, bullish right so chances are we may start cooling off right in case that does not happen the market likes what the fed does then we are going to break above this level probably breaking above that all-time high for the dow jones right so this is what can happen so today probably uh, around midnight that news usually comes in about what exactly the fed has done right so once that is done you would see a clearer move coming into the us markets right and based on that the even all other indi indices that is the asian markets and even the european markets will react to it tomorrow right so this is about the global scenario what exactly is happening right now now we'll move on to the large cap charts so this is the nifty 100 equal weight right wherein you are clearly seeing that it has started breaking out right of this parallel channel in case the fed this thing is not so great probably you can start a little pullback up to this dotted line that is the middle of this channel in case it is even horrible then probably go back to the lows that is the bottom part of this channel right it can probably take support there but if it is good i would not be surprised if we kind of break out of this and move much higher right so now the large cap charts look really well now let's look at the large cap momentum so the large cap momentum right it has been continuously rising since the last few days and today also after seeing a small pullback yesterday it has even risen today right so like I said, if the Fed thing is good, it should continue moving higher. But one thing is, in the past many times, right, it has kind of uh, shown resistance around these lines, right, that is around the 80 mark, right, it has had some kind of a resistance, right. So let's see, since that is broken out, I would say probably around the 90 mark, it might find some resistance before the momentum cools off, right. Now let's look at the large cap data. So the large cap data has again shot up, right? So I think whatever FII selling was there, it has not really come in today. And uh, there is more of a buying that has happened. So net net that is the FII plus the DI, we should see a pretty decent buy number coming in, which kind of reflects here. So the large cap accumulation looks really good going into a, an event, right? So chances are we can break out and move much higher in the large caps now moving on to the mid cap analysis so if you look at the candle that has been made today it is not really a bearish one we are at an 
all time high closing right which is very bullish in case if there is some pullback that happens right we might just come back to these levels right around this 23 200 which is not really far off probably a percent percent and a half kind of a pullback we might see before moving up again right so nothing to really worry about although there was a bearish candle yesterday but today the closing is pretty good and chances are we might move much higher from these levels now let's look at the mid cap momentum so the mid cap momentum which has been continuously rising after the budget right we have not really cooled off i would say we are still around the same levels so i would not read much into this maybe after tomorrow's this thing probably we can even inch higher up right because the resistance is around these levels right it is not really around this level that we have turn back so chances are we might go up even higher before the momentum cools off now let's look at the mid cap accumulation that happened today so the mid cap accumulation if you can kind of ignore the 29th data it has been on a steady rise i would say except for this 29th data right we are slowly inching higher and definitely above the average mark today right so i would not really be a bearish at the moment because all time high closing that kind of came in plus the momentum is also good right plus the data is also pretty good for the mid caps so the trend or let's say the momentum should continue we should move higher in the mid caps now let's move on to the small caps so the small cap momentum right it continues to move up although today there is a little drawdown right so chances are probably we are hitting some kind of a top for the small caps as of now because this is where it usually tops out right even previously also like the best of the momentum that whenever it had right it usually tops out around this 400 to 450 range and we are in that as of now so looking at this maybe small caps can take a back seat as of now because uh, i feel that the big move might come into the large caps and the mid caps going forward right now let's look at the small cap accumulation so the small cap accumulation right it has started to cool off right we were seeing a steady uh, up move in the accumulation but slowly it has started to decline so with the momentum also kind of going down plus the data also going down it makes sense to be a little cautious especially in the small caps but whereas in the large and mid caps both of them look positive so usually i would like to take trades in the mid caps that is let's say the smaller of the mid caps that is market cap closer to the range of 20000 30000 crores those would make a lot of sense if there is good accumulation that is happening there now let's move on to distribution data so the distribution is staying around those levels close to that 200 mark no real increase in the distribution i would say so like i told you yesterday also it is more like a sectoral rotation that is happening so the ones where i'm seeing good accumulation are usually let's say the pharma the chemical names the nbfc's wherein decent accumulation is happening probably the moves might come into those now looking at the best performing sector today so the best performing sector was nifty pharma right so the nifty pharma if you look at it after the very good accumulation that we saw around these levels what has happened is it has broken out and if you look at the structure it is making higher high higher low continuously and after this small pullback it has again started moving up so whoever bought the pharma stocks somewhere around here should be sitting on almost 15 to 25 percent kind of gains right so pharma continues to do really well even the accumulation is pretty good in the pharma index maybe the run should continue in the pharma sector right so this is about what happened today and hopefully the fed will give a positive feedback based on which the market should continue their rally up let's hope for the best i'll see you after tomorrow's trading session thank you